Thank you so much for joining us again on Second Act TV. I want to welcome back Trevor Brandon Scharf, the dating coach, host of Done Being Single, the author of the book with the same title right there. Make sure you pick that up. <laughs> Trevor, thank you so much for being here again. Oh, I love it. You know I do. <laughs> Well, I love having you here, and I'm going to really love today's conversation. I ran across another article doing some research, and I thought, hmm, this is this is perfect for Trevor. This was actually done uh, by a matchmaking company, and it's the title here of this article is Top Four Ways mm -hmm. a Guy mm -hmm. Screws Up a Second mm -hmm. Date. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering how it applies to, to our age group. Uh, you read the article. Anything you yes. want to say before we start here? Yes, it, it, it applies to our cohort, but mm -hmm. um, not entirely. And this is, mm -hmm. I don't mind, you know, tweaking it a little bit. It's a good article, but I'm going to tweak it a little. Yeah. Well, and, and this is uh, the, the advice from a, like a conglomeration of dating coaches, at, as I think I already said, at a matchmaking yes. company. So so people pay for this advice. This is what yes. they tell the clients. And is, you know, is, is this good advice? The first one uh, is kind of funny. The eager beaver <laughs> coming on too strong is never attractive. And the same holds true at the conclusion of a first date. A really bad date second date or question is here oh i write i really like meeting you when can we go out can we go out tuesday so again that uh, the way to screw it up is to be well too eager what do you say okay so i have a little problem with the eager eager is it's a tough call i like eager i like eagerness who what woman wouldn't who what guy does what, you know <sighs> Again, you know, we don't have time for this, people. If you feel it, say it. If you had a good time, say you did. What do you, what, it, it's, it, it's nice. It would be nice to hear. It's confirmation for the other person. And you're yeah. able to be you. So say it. Yeah. And, and it, you know, if, if you do show eagerness or you do show that you really like her, if she doesn't respond, then you know, it's not going to go anywhere anyway. But I agree with you. I think it's nice to, to oh know God, so that somebody's, it is flattering. So it absolutely flattering. is flattering. I mean, I know yeah. it can be over the top, you know, the whole love bombing thing, but uh, it is flattering. So yeah. I would think twice, I would think twice about this, uh, you know, as well. They say here a good second date question. Hey, I really like to see you again. Can I take you to dinner? Yeah, that's a good second day question but yes i mean it's you know you had a good time say it I, I really enjoyed getting to know you this was great i love the conversation i can't wait to continue Th this one number two here is kind of funny a too cool for school guy <laughs> you know how does that translate to us like like too cool for aarp i, I don't know how you would <laughs> put that on, on the same level but uh it, it, basically what they're saying here and this is that after a great date you suddenly disappear you know that that playing it uh, like too cool you know really does send a message that all you want is a booty call and that's that, that's a way to you know really screw up a second date if if you want you know to to if you like this woman if you want to go on with with her that don't you know there's no rule about waiting to text no, no, there's no, um, remember the book, The Rules? Yes. The rules. Oh. The three, what was the, the three-day rule? Yep. Okay. So, okay, as an old school chick over here, yeah, you know, we were taught you shouldn't, I, I, and I say this in, in the book, my mother told me when the phone rang, the landline, mm -hmm. um, don't answer it on the first ring because <laughs> you, you don't want to you don't want to appear too anxious, right? Or too overzealous. Okay. I, I, so I come from that sort of, you know, let the guy kind of pursue, let the guy leave, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, we're living in different dating times now. And some mm -hmm. of the, you know, it's outdated dating. Some of the things that we, yeah, we once mm -hmm. used to practice and believe. I think that um, if a guy takes too long to text you or you know su suggested a second date it's either he's struggling with whether he wants to wants another date or mm -hmm. he's juggling more women um and you're not just it um we don't know we don't know we don't know anything about people's lives yeah. we don't know that's the thing everybody this is from you know forever 
even before apps and technology, we, we would meet someone right out in the wild. We'd ex give them our number or whatever mm -hmm. and wait for them to call. And if they didn't, you know, you'd, you'd wonder, um, but you can't ever take it personally. You can't, right. that's, the, that's right. where I would draw the line. Right. You know, I guess we agree with this because they're they're suggesting don't go dark. That no, don't wait. You know, if 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 you like the person, then yeah, absolutely, text back. Don't do this too you know too cool thing no, as they no. say. What I do um, not quite agree with is sort of the examples of what is a good text or bad text. Like the the uh, the good text is to follow up with just a good morning. And leave it there to me and then i'll ask you is it's just i don't know that's too intimate already it's a little intimate. Good... yeah it's a little intimate and it's a little um nondescript and sort mm -hmm. of uh, undefined what does that mean this um brings up an interesting uh dilemma for me in terms of who texts who after the first date mm. should the woman proactively text and say, thank you, either when she gets home or the next morning. Thank you so much. I had a great time. Does the guy do that? Is it too forward for a woman to do that? I always sort of struggled with that a little bit. Mm -hmm. But again, you know, we're not living in our dating times. These are mm -hmm. new, new times. So we're at a certain age. I think we're done with the bullshit. We don't have to play <laughs> games. Why wait? Just say it. It's funny that the bad second day text that they say here is, uh, you know, wait a few days and then uh, say, hey, I mean, that never send a text or follow up and just do, hey, <laughs> it's amazing how many people actually do that. Uh, don't get me started on the hey and professional business people will start off by saying, hey, and I'll say, that's not my name. Hey is not my name. Come hey on. is for horses. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, we used to say that in yes. years ago. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's especially um, is a turn off, you know, for for our generation because we actually said that. Hey, it's just kind of rude. It's kind of rude, and anyway, yes, we'll we'll leave, so it, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Number three here, and again, we're talking about, uh, you know, how to turn somebody off on a date, especially a second date, is the no sexual attraction man. And what they apparently mean by that is that we work and we live in an environment where it's taboo now to have any kind of, you know, sexual interaction like at work or even how to approach a woman that, um, you know, sometimes that that's too difficult actually on a date that we forget how to flirt. I know, I know you have some strong uh, opinions on that. What do you say? They say here a, a good second day flirt that if you didn't compliment her, that might be a good way to follow up or, or whatever. Talk, talk to me about that, the, the whole sexual attraction thing. You know, either, either it's there or it's not, or it will develop. So can you teach someone this stuff? I don't know. Either you feel it or you don't. And again, I'm all for authenticity. I'm all for subtlety at the same time. I don't know. Chemistry is one of those sort of inexplicable things. If you, if you felt attracted to someone, yeah, a compliment is nice. That that yeah. kind of says, I'm looking at you. Who wouldn't want to hear something like that? Yeah. It's nice. I, I kind of like the suggestion here is that, you know, you can say, well, I don't like the good morning or but, or good morning with the follow-up is okay. You know, good morning yes. with the follow-up. I don't just leave yes. it hanging out there, but good morning. And, you know, by the way, you have beautiful eyes or something like nice. that, something that's appropriate and not, you know, hey, I really like your body. I mean, I wouldn't yeah. do that. <laughs> or, or, or make a little mental note from the date and, you know, yeah. just go, oh, yes, I remember she said something really funny or he yes. was so adorable when he said that thing about his right. I, Whatever. You really made me laugh. You really, yes, or something like, like that is wonderful. Now you're communicating that, yes. that you like her and that's, and that's, you know, that's yeah, great. If she yeah, likes yeah. you, then you have a good shot at, you know, getting more dates. Uh, it's funny that the, 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 the bad example they give is sending naked pictures. This just struck me. Pictures of your body naked is a bad text. Well, no shit. <laughs> this has to be pointed out. Okay, yes. So I don't know. I, I guess people didn't get the memo. No dick pics, people. <laughs> uh, ever, ever, ever. I don't care if you're married. No, don't do that. You, I mean, we all hear horror stories, right? Yeah. Nightmare scenarios yeah. of it getting into the wrong hands. The picture, not your d <laughs> 
uh, you know, I that's that's even so stupid doesn't even deserve to be talked about. But the yeah. like I said, that this even has to be written. I, I don't yeah. know. It, yeah. 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 Let's move on to number four, because I love I love this one. The guy that can't shut up that that is a bad thing, you know, to go if, just talking about yourself. Yes. You know, if, if you think that you're so fascinating that all you do is, is talk, 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 talk. Yeah, I, I agree. That's turn off. You know, it has to be a two way thing. What they're saying is that here, here, here's a good second day. This is according to matchmaking. They say, shut the hell up. Think one thought in your head. I want to find out everything about this woman that I can. So far, I'm, I'm kind of with them. Be mm-hmm. genuinely interested in her, still mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now here's where we go awry. Mm-hmm. Repeat back and paraphrase her stories. Keep eye contact, smile, and don't you dare take out the phone. Okay, don't take out your phone. I got to. Okay, all right. And this is the worst part. If she yep. talks the whole night and you don't say a word, you have had a successful second date. Really? Uh, <laughs> oh my God, check please. <laughs> wow if she talks all wow. night you've had a successful second date let the woman just do whatever you can let the woman talk how uh, this these are professionals giving this advice well, it, it, yeah it's obviously written by a woman it sounds so female centric well it's, it's definitely like, female centric yeah, i don't know really yeah. um again with this this um impossible list of criteria I don't know how any, how anybody can operate function. It's just it's so overly overly. Um, I um, I can't even. I just got so off track. What were we just talking about? I'm just so. I'm still back on the dick pics. What did you just <laughs> say? I know. What? No, this is actually recommending that. Okay, so here's what I what I agree oh, with. Oh, ta- over over talking, over talking. Yeah, over talking. But you know, letting and then instead of talking about yourself the whole night. You know, let the woman talk about herself okay. the whole night. So again, you know, we uh, just urge you, uh, viewers watching us right now, to be very self-aware, mm-hmm. and that that includes listening to, hearing yourself. A little mindfulness goes a long way. So yeah, if you're motor mouthing, you know, mm-hmm. yammering, yammering, yammering. Okay, and if and if your date across the table is kind of like. Uh, you know, <laughs> tuning out, you know, you're, you're, you know, right. dial it down. I think people, um, we don't leave, leave any room for like awkwardness, human mm-hmm. nature, clumsiness. Dating is awkward people. I mean, we know that first yeah. dates are tough. People right. talk a lot. They're yeah. nervous. Well, and the advice though, that, that that's, that's my, the biggest issue I have. The advice that the woman should do all the talking is horrible. The that's whole thing horrible. about a first or second date is to have conversation, which means go yes. back yes. and forth. Yes. If you honestly, you know, to have a guy or uh, sit there and just listen to me talk all night and smile at me adoringly while he keeps yeah, eye contact, yeah, yeah. that's a turn off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little yeah. creepy and it's a little weird. Yes, you wouldn't do that with anybody. You would, you'd, you'd there would be a healthy exchange of conversation, right? Yes. You don't, you just don't sit there, Google I. Uh, I mean, that's a little. <laughs> but yes, showing some interest and some curiosity, right? Asking questions. It's a dance. It's a dance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So yeah. we all have to leave room and be give grace and be very forgiving um, mm-hmm. in this process because mm-hmm. we're not all pros. Some of us are new at this. Some of us have been, uh, right? If we're not new at it, we've been at it a long time and maybe our um, self-esteem isn't great and maybe we feel mm-hmm. beaten down and maybe we're having performance anxiety. I used to get that. I know what it, I know what that feels like. And so, yes, mm-hmm. so dating is, you can, it's awkward. Leave room for that and have some grace when it comes yeah. to people who are just talking a mile a minute on a first or second date. Can you blame them? They're nervous. It's okay. Yeah, I think mostly this was kind of a cutesy article. Uh, yes, it was. It was sales. It was salesy. It was. Just, it was salesy. It was, it was marketing. Uh, yeah. The the unfortunate thing about that is when when you put in the the search that people do because I put in searches yes. that I think people search for you yeah. know like do's and don'ts on a second date how to yeah. you know put that in there so this comes up this is something that came up right away so this is what yeah. people see right away. <laughs> oh, also everybody, uh, second act TV viewers you know, consider the source. Mm-hmm. Okay. When reading, when Good reading, uh, except for us, of course, because yeah. you know, the end, <laughs> we're the end all be all, you know, we, you know, you can trust us. <laughs> 
okay? We won't steer you wrong. Uh, but with there's so much content out there, right? There's so mm -hmm. many lists and rules and requirements right. and all this bullshit. You know, consider the source. Uh, see, Go scroll to the bottom and see if they're trying mm -hmm. to sell you. Well, Trevor, again, another topic that we can absolutely go down the rabbit hole with. So, and we are coming to the end. Anything else you, uh, you know, want to leave our viewers with? Okay. Yes. Because I, I, I do have a piece of advice uh, that piggybacks on this, that I just gave a client of mine on how to take, go from text to date. Okay. okay. So mm -hmm. here's what, um, make a mental note of something that happened during the date. A, mm -hmm. a little conversation snippet, something that you can use as a compliment or your phone conversation where you could say, you know what, that was really interesting what you said about your travels or your experiences abroad. Mm -hmm. I would love to continue the conversation. So that way you, you signal that you're listening, that mm -hmm. you're aware, and that you're also interested, right? Mm -hmm. So that that's kind of uh, two birds with one stone. That's the best advice that we had in this whole segment. Oh, right. <laughs> <Following>. <laughs> Trevor, as usual, I will link to all of your information to your website. If anybody wants to coach with Trevor, do get a hold of her. I know a lot of you already have. Yes. And of course, your book, right? Right there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> done yeah. being single. If you're done being single, you're going to love this book. It uh, not only gives fabulous dating tips, but it's so funny yes. and uh, gives you a good perspective uh, into Trevor's life and where she's coming from. So Thank yeah. And here's to you, Silka. I mean, come on, you rock. You are the best and you are so loved. And I, I just can't tell you how much I enjoy being on the show and how much your viewers appreciate you. Thank you for saying so thank that. You. I, I do appreciate yeah. it. And I can't wait to have you back again on Second yeah. Act TV. All right. Mm -hmm.